Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show how I use some, some more advanced search methods in order to improve the way search happens on my blog. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is import these libraries, and this is going to use the Postgres kind of native smart search, and the search vector will give us a little bit more information about um, like which search fields are more important than others and then the search query is going to leverage the search vector and the search rank is basically going to rank the results where the more relevant results are at the top and the less relevant re results will be at the bottom. Alright so after you've done those imports I'm just going to show you my search view and maybe we can just kind of start with, like, I have a blog, there's a little search interface. In this search interface, I can search for things like Django. And then when I click search, um, I've set some breakpoints. Let's just click through those. Um, you know, I've searched for Django. I've got a bunch of blog posts about Django. The, more, the most relevant ones should be at the top, and the less relevant ones will be toward the bottom. And I have kind of a paginated list, so you can click through to get through um, all the different posts that have to do with Django. So, like, what's going on under the hood? Um, well, the main thing, um, like, kind of the magic where things are happening is inside my search view. And um, I'm just going to kind of focus on this get query set, which is really where a lot of the magic happens. So the first thing we do is we get the search query from um, the get request, and the get request is being made from the template. So um, when you make a search, it's, um, let's actually check that out. So in general, the search is going to be made from the header. So inside my header, if we scroll down, I think it's toward the bottom, search posts. So here you can do a search and then it'll be assigned to search. And then when you click submit, it will submit um, your string to a view. And the view that ends up picking this up is my search view. So let's actually hit a breakpoint here and we can kind of walk through what's happening. So we, why don't we do that search for Django again. We'll do a search. And now um, we can see that I searched for Django. And then now it's going to pick up um, the active posts. And in this case, I've used a um, like a post manager. Let's take a look at that. So if you set up this class called a post manager, it allows you to adjust which posts are returned. And in this case, I want to only return posts that are not drafts. Um, so I've set up some functionality where inside my post, there is a draft field that's Boolean. And um, in this case, I'm kind of overriding fetching posts and saying like, hey, only give me posts that are not drafts and order them by date posted. So the latest posts show up first. So it's hitting that. And then now the posts are going to contain the active ones. So we've got this query set. Let's take a look at it. So if we go in here and we take it like, uh, length of posts. I've got almost a hundred posts. We're, we're one away. And then here it's just kind of checking like, am I a super user? If, if I'm the admin, then show me everything. Um, I am the admin, so it's going to show me everything. Um, okay, so here's where some of the kind of secret sauce is happening. Um, so you can see that I've set up a search vector, and the search vector is based on title, and it's given a weight of A. And as you can imagine, A is the highest weight, and then the lowest weight, I don't know, F, I guess, is the lowest weight. Um, in this case, I've set a weight of A to title and a weight of D to content. So you might be wondering, like, what is title? What is content? Well, if we go into my models and we take a look at the post model, the title is literally just the title of the post. And I think this kind of makes sense that we've set 
the title as a weight A because people tend to search things based on the title of posts that they're interested in. So if you search for Django, if the title of the post has Django in it, I, I assume that that's a more relevant post than just a post that doesn't have Django in the title but might have Django inside the content of the post. So we have a title and that's like the main title of it and then content which is like the content of the post. Um, to kind of like center this in reality, you can tell that the, like Django is in the title of this post. Django is also in the title of this post. I mean, I think for a while it's probably going to be saying Django, but um, let's see if we can find any that don't say Django. Um, I think a lot of them are going to say Django. Perhaps the last, let's take a look at the last page and then click through these. Sure. So here's an example of I have like, you know, add a social media share buttons and somewhere in here it says Django. Let's let's check this out. So if we type in Django, yeah. So in this post I mentioned that I use the Django social share plugin. Um, so in that case, this post is relevant in that I mentioned Django, but it's not the most relevant because it doesn't have Django in the title. Okay, so let's see, we got to there. Why don't we hit a breakpoint here and press play to get there. All right, so now we're taking a look at, we're gonna weight the title at A, and we're going to weight the content at D, so it's less relevant, but still relevant. Once it does that, it's going to, um, let's jump over to query. And now at the query, it's basically taken our search vector based on search, and now it's kind of like set up the query. Um, so what's happening here is we're taking our posts object, and in this case, I have overridden the contact object name posts. And once we're in the, uh, like, let's see, posts paginated here, it's going to be, asking, it's going through, uh, let's see, for post and post. So post is like my main object. So if we're in here and we are annotating the post object with this information, we're basically taking our posts and we're ordering them based on the, on the search rank. So it's going to be adding this kind of search vector and it's going to filter it based on the search and then order it by rank, um, which will be great. So once it goes through here, let's just click through and see where it goes. You know, it's filtering, it's ordering, and then now it's just going through my get context so we can actually skip through all this. Post manager, okay, it's kind of just going through. All right, perfect. So so now it's actually in my search post .html, and this is the the kind of the page that we're on right now. And it's going to show you like you've searched for this um, and searched is just you search for Django and it's telling you how many results were returned and num results should be, let's look at the get context data. Num results is basically like the length of the post. Um, so the length of the, the result. Um, okay, let's see what else. So if posts, Yes, we do have posts. And let's like take a look at the post object. So if we take a look at like length posts, it should be less than 99. So we've got 10 posts. And uh, it's like a query set. And it's basically this code is going to iterate through the posts where um, there's 10 posts. Post number zero is going to be the most relevant. And then post number 10 is going to be the least relevant, but still mentions Django somewhere. Um, so it kind of goes through, and, and there we go. We got a 200, and um, it says, like, you search for Django, 32 results found. I'm not exactly sure why it says 32 as opposed to we got 10 in our length posts. Um, I think what's possibly happening here is that inside my models, let's go to um, post manager 
posts. No, 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 this is going to be in the views. Yeah, so I have paginated my object by 10. So I think when I was in that one um, kind of breakpoint, it was just showing me the latest 10. So um, the way this works is there's going to be 32 results, but then there's 10 per page. So once you go down here, this is 10, 20, and then this will be 30. And then I'm not sure where the last two posts will go. They'll probably go to a page four. Let's see, let's click through this. Yeah, and I'm guessing page four is going to have like two posts on it. Yep, perfect. So yeah, that, that's pretty much what happened. There's 32 posts, there's 10 posts per page. The fourth page will have two posts because zero through, or one through three will have the first 30. So really, that's all that's going on is you can basically do a copy and paste of my code, take a look at your models object, and when you are creating a search vector, you want to be paying attention to the different um, properties that are on your post or whatever you're doing. In my case, I have a title field that's a string, and that's the title of the post, and a content field, which is the meat of the post, um, everything that I've written in the content field. And yeah, once you set up your view, you can just kind of chug away, create your search vectors, add some weights to them. And then this will be really useful because um, not only is it searching just based on Django, but it's also extremely smart in that it's not just searching. Like if you search for cat, it might also look for like kitten. Um, it, it's really good at finding synonyms and just really making the search really powerful where people might not be searching for exactly what they want, but it can kind of infer through their search query um, what they really want to get at. And we're, again, we're leveraging, if we go to the top, this is just the Postgres search library. And this is going, going to be a lot more powerful than just doing like a like a queue query where you're just doing like a really dumb like string match where it's either in in there or not in there but in this case the search through Postgres is going to be a lot smarter where it's going off synonyms it's able to infer what the user really wants and then weight different um, attributes of your objects to make sure that the most relevant results are returned to your users. All right. I hope that was a good tutorial and it all made sense. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments.